name is Tracy Davis. I'm with the EMS program, and Gino and I um, staged this whole thing to where the paramedic students and the nursing students actually will collaborate um, and learn how to work together in this setting because that's the way it is in the real world. Um, my paramedic students will come in here, take care of the mom and baby, and then transfer care over to the nursing students where the nursing students will then take over care. In terms of simulation, as you're preparing your baby using moulage of split pea and bacon soup, um, speak to us about interdisciplinary use of simulation. Use of simulation. Well, what we're going to do today, we're going to have a mom actually deliver in the bathroom, have her in the bathroom as if she had delivered a baby. A 911 call go out to EMS. EMS will respond to the bathroom here. We're going to have to stabilize the mom and stabilize the baby and then we Then they're going to transport the baby to a simulated hospital environment to where EMS would give radio report and report to nursing students and then the nursing students will actually then take over the care. So EMS and nursing would be working together for a simulated experience with a baby being born outside of the hospital environment. Did what? What did y'all do? I delivered the baby in the bathroom and uh, transported on an ambulance and delivered to the nurses. Was it scary? It was a little bit scary. Yes. Um, what did you learn? Uh, that it's going to be unpredictable. The scene, you're not going to know what's going to what's going on. You're just going to have to deal with however however you find it. Um, was it? Did it help you to learn anything? Did it help you to put what you've learned in a textbook into practice? Yeah, the hands-on experience is, is definitely a good thing. and Kind of getting thrown to the sharks a little bit to, to fend for yourself and figure it out for yourself, uh, which you don't really get that in real life, so. It was a neat experience. It gives you an idea of how you can actually run through a whole scenario, like into their reading and book. I thought it was a good experience. Y'all actually got to give report to another discipline, right? Nursing. So how was that? What would you like to say? I mean, it was interesting. First time we've actually given report. Being students, they usually allow the actual medics to to give report in the hospital, but it's uh, interesting to give it to yourself. Both baby and mom are stable. If any of you were in a situation like this tomorrow, maybe on the job, would it have helped to have been through this? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's a great intermediate between learning it in the textbook and actually having to do it in real life. You can make up scenarios here that you don't always see in the hospital every time. Mm -hmm. There's not enough time in clinical to see it, so while we're in school, we also get to see some stuff that you may never see. Okay. It's a controlled environment, okay. so it's more when you're in the middle of something in clinicals, you don't have time to stop and say, why are we doing this? But here you can stop and say, I don't understand. It puts pressure on you, which makes you think on your toes. But you're able to make mistakes here that in a hospital setting you would not want to make. And in debriefing, you're able to look back and talk about it. We're making our own decisions rather than having someone else making for us, mm -hmm. where we can learn from our mistakes in that situation. It forces us to use what we've been taught in class and actually apply it. And that's another good thing about what they were saying. You can cater the scenario to what we're learning about. So like they said, we may never see this in real life, you know, during our clinical hours. So it makes you an independent. It, it allows that critical thinking aspect that we're learning in school, and it makes you more independent, not having an instructor, you know, facility run through a scenario instead of just reading. You know, this is what you're going to see that it, when you really are seeing it, even though it's a dummy, like you said, it still it feels real. Yeah, yeah. So that always helps me, and I like that we do the things in here that we're learning in class so that it all comes together. 
you're just immersed in the situation and, and you don't think this is not a real person that I'm working on. You just do the, the task at hand. You don't think this isn't real. Because in your mind, it is real, and you're running through just like if it was a real person. That way, when you get to clinicals and you actually see it, you're not standing there going, what did I read about that? Yeah. You're going, okay, this is what I did in Sim Lab, and this is what I'm going to do now. Yeah. 